Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with pumpkin bread. That's right, a little bit of an experiment. I wondered what would happen if I took my favorite banana bread recipe and did it with pumpkin for a seasonal twist. All right, so here we go, and I have some good news. No machinery necessary. Take some room temperature butter. You see, I cheated. I put mine in the microwave onto frost, so I had a few little melty spots. No problem. We're going to cream that with our sugar. Just use the back of a spatula until it's sort of, I don't know, sort of lighter and fluffier. Okay, that texture there. That took about three minutes. All right, I'm going to switch to a whisk. I'm going to whisk in two eggs, one at a time. So you want to put one in, give it a good whisk until it completely disappears. Throw in your next one and repeat. All right, so that's kind of standard. Creaming the butter and the sugar and then whisking in your eggs. All right, after that, it gets really easy. I'm going to add one can of pumpkin puree. And I know you're going to ask, what about fresh roasted pumpkin? If you want, go ahead. It's about two cups of pumpkin. But I'm going to use the canned, a nice organic canned pumpkin puree. I think it's going to be just as good and way easier. Okay? All right, after the pumpkin, we're going to mix in our spices. Some Chinese five spice, some cinnamon, and some allspice. At that point, we're going to dump in our dry ingredients, which is flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And of course, all the critical exact measurements will be on food wishes, as usual. I'm going to mix that with a spatula until just almost mixed. See, there's a little bit of flour, but it's sort of mixed. At that point, dump in your roasted walnuts. And as soon as that's mixed together, you are ready to put into a loaf pan. All right, so I'm going to scrape that into my bread loaf pan, which has been buttered or greased. Smooth that out. We're going to give it the old tapa tapa to settle the batter. We're going to put that in a 325 degree oven for about one hour or until a wooden skewer comes out clean. Start checking after an hour. It's probably going to take about an hour and five minutes, All right? Maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, but you're going to check. And there we go. Delicious, super easy pumpkin walnut bread. So yes, the experiment worked, but I think next time I'm going to try to make it a little denser, a little moister. I mean, banana is definitely a little richer, a little sweeter than pumpkin puree. So stay tuned for new and improved versions. Although as is, this would make a fantastic holiday treat, something to throw out on a dessert table after your Thanksgiving meal with some coffee or for a brunch or something like that. Really, really nice. So anyway, I hope you give it a try. All the ingredients are on the site. And as always, enjoy.